Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Elon Paul, and we're doing this uh, permadeath run that Beeblebum invented. The challenge, quite a challenge, as you have found out. It's called the fugitive version of the permadeath extreme. So I've gone through his last video that he did live a couple of days ago. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see, he added a couple new things to the rules, because it had to be adjusted. As he said, things would be adjusted along the way. You can check my own description for the new adjustments as well. One of them is, you can build bases, of course, but you can only build bases in pirate and abandoned systems. And they must be in a cave. That way ships flying overhead, things like that, can't see you. So they have to be in a cave system. Not one recreate, it's got to be inside of an actual cave system itself. Um, also the mission under a rebel star. This can be started and used to reach an outlaw system, but all the other rules still apply. So those are the two new things. Third last thing is you can upload discoveries to the No Man's Sky servers. This is not considered part of the Galactic Network. So this is a way so that we can get extra nanites from time to time. Uh, and of course, as you're scanning uh, animals and stuff like that, you're actually getting money from this. This is one way we can still get a little bit of money along the way. So those are the only things that he really made any adjustments on. So we're going to continue right where we left off. And hopefully this time, like I said, I don't make any stupid mistakes and I pay attention to the surroundings. So let's get started. We're just about a minute into this. I don't want to go too, too much longer. We are headed in, I believe, a, not a southerly direction because that's where our starship is. I think we were headed in a northerly direction, correct? This way. Okay, so let's get started. So first things first, we're at here. Uh, we've got plenty of items in our inventory. Uh, obviously, we've got hazard protection things that we can use, so I'm going to make sure I do that. We've got some other things that we've gathered along the way that we can sell, so hopefully we get a trader landing next to us sooner or later. Uh, we do have another salvage container over there that we can try to get. Again, I think it would be a good idea if we continue to do that, because those things are worth some seriously good cash if you can land some good ones. Don't need that. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's head on. Wasting precious time. How are we doing on sodium? It's been a few days since I've played. Oh, get away from that. Okay. okay salvage container is not far away. Oh, crap. Gotta remember. Permadeath, yes. I've been playing my main character for a little bit, getting some things done, and I keep forgetting certain stupid little things. This is a new character. He doesn't have any upgrades. He has nothing. Yeah, I gotta remember that. Okay, terrain manipulator. I gotta kind of remember where we are and what we're doing here. Okay, so there's the piece. This doesn't look like a seriously big piece, so we may not get a lot of money for what we're going after, but we gotta watch out for the... the what do you call it, dudes? Any second they should be appearing. And oily compressor. Three hundred thousand, it's not too bad. Let's put this in our multi tool real quick. And just because I should really get a move on. Let's go. North, this way. Actually, since they're not attacking me right now. I'm going to head in the direction of some buried technology. Okay, sorry, pardon me. So on salvage planets, I had someone ask me this question. On planets that have, sal have salvageable scrap on them, any most of the time, about 90% of the time or more, when 
you try to salvage the scrap, you will be attacked by corrupted sentinels. Corrupted sentinels. These are sentinels that are just kind of out of whack and they're trying to protect these scraps that you didn't realize existed. Okay. And we definitely need some upgrades. Well, what do you know? It's uh, above ground, huh? Probably the distance. I'm trying to check out my inventory to see what we got in here. Yes, we got plenty of room. Let's get this first. Okay. And what do we got in here? A hyperdrive module. Well, neat. It's going to be useless to me right now, but it could be useful later. Are any of these things worth less than 200? There's one. Let's get rid of that. And this one, definitely. Okay, so we got rid of two valueless ones. These things are worth a pretty good chunk of change, so I'm going to hang on to those for now. That one's worth quite a bit more. Okay, we got two spots available to us. How are we doing on hazard protection? Okay. All right, to the north, and let's see what we can find. Look for buildings. We're hopefully going to find something soon. I keep saying I have a good feeling about stuff, but... Maybe I ought to leave my feelings out of it now. Alright, looks like we got some more buried technology down there. Plus, I thought there was... Other stuff there. There's a cave over here. So if we need some material cement... Ah, there it is. Some... Damaged machinery. Okay. Get some nanites out of you. And the... Where is it? Oh, it's up in the air. It's in a tree. It's apparently tree technology. It's a technology tree. That's what it is. Nice. Love when we discover technology trees. Can only be grown upon. Uh, let's see. Alright, we're gonna head, continue to head to the north and let's hope for the best. Back to my mining beam for now. I know I'm going to need some ferrite dust. Let's see where we are with that. We've got a good amount of ferrite dust for now. Use them up. That leaves up that. I'm going to try to stick to one type of food if we can. Pulpy roots would be a good idea to stick with. Let's get a little extra distance out of this, buddy. There we go. All right, anything. Not seeing any... Yeah, put you up first. Should be another one right over there, or over there, or over there. Let's go for that. Okay, a lot of stuff near me, but nothing I'm really, really begging for here. Like I said, a nice upgrade would be great. Hazard protection would be great. Anything? Nope, more nanites, I believe. Yep, okay. Oh, what do you know? Exposed. Getting a lot of those lately. I don't know what that's about, but hey, I'll take it. I'm going to try after some more damaged machinery if I can, because I think this planet has been pretty good to me in regards to finding decent stuff in them, so let's make sure we can do that. More nanites. That's okay. We can always use it. Anything in this direction first. Okay, 
Let's head this way. Yeah, I was expecting that. Had to hit a tree to knock me in that direction, though. Yeah, this one is actually buried this time. Okay. Alright, how are we doing on that stuff? Alright, looks like we're doing pretty good. Okay. Alright, we got plants over there. We got frost wart. Uh, we got really nothing going on to the north of us, it looks like, so let's just carry on, see what whiffs we can find. Hmm. Slip and slide, what do you know? What do we got? 97 sodium. It looks like we might have found a more another sodium patch. Eh, not much. Just a couple. Alright. Salvageable scrap 800 points in the distance. Another 800 that way. Uh, let's take a closer look because we've got a lot of stuff around here. But I'm not finding any ah, places to camp out at, so to speak. Ugh, are you kidding? Alright. A little bit of stabilization here. Let's go ahead and create a couple more batteries while we're in it. So while we are getting secondary elements from our stalactites and stalagmites, um, we are on a planet that has salvageable scrap, so let's hope for the best on that one. I'm going to go ahead and get myself another 10 batteries if we can. So I need about 100 cobalt for that. 94. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Ah, gave me 101. Big deal. Okay. I got 10 more of those. Plenty of oxygen. Okay. Let's move on. Because these things are worth 468,000. So as we come across those, we'll go ahead and sell some of these off. Like this one's worth more than that. So I'm going to go ahead and switch these around a little bit. 283... Yeah, so that's more valuable. And I'll get rid of some as we go, but if we come across more, you know, million dollar salvageable scrap, that'll be good. Alright, this way. Uh, north is that way. We have that and that. Let's go for this first. Eh, we'll grab it, but we don't really need it. Okay, come on, give me a hazard protection or something. Starship launch fuel. Something we really don't need right now. Okay. Alright, we'll think about it, because I don't know if I'm going to hang on to all the Starship launch fuels I have. Okay. Okay... We're heading that way to a salvage container, but we need to keep our eyes open for buildings, because it's pretty far away. Okay. How are we doing? About 15 minutes into this? Alright, looks like we got some more damaged machinery as well. Okay. 
There we go. What do you got for us? Anything worthwhile? Just more nanites. Okay. Take a close look. Ah! That's what I'm talking about. That's why we didn't want to get stuck going to one spot. Alright, good. I'm glad we looked. Let's head that way. Since there happens to be some more damaged machinery on the way, we'll hit that. Just nanites. And do we have any... Yeah, there is some right there. And we got it. Excellent. You know, we haven't had a lot of ships flying over. Has anyone noticed that? Makes me wonder what's going on. Let's see what we got up there. A little quiet. Too quiet. It's been an interesting week. I usually do these recordings on Friday nights. I'm doing this on a Saturday afternoon, so it's getting kind of weird. Got to contend with people mowing their lawns and stuff. Yeah, of course it is. Valuable materials in there. But that means I would have to use my bolt caster, and I would have to contend with these guys and try to run away from them. So, what to do? I could try to take him from a distance, I think. Uh, let's see. That leaves, alleviates two spots in my inventory. It's dropping slowly. We would need five spots all total in my inventory. And while I want to keep this desperately, I'm beginning to wonder whether I should. Let's go ahead and get rid of my refiner. I don't think we're going to need it right now, so that'll alleviate one more spot. We need, obviously, the ammunition. The hydrogen is a must right now. So that gives us three spots we can carry things in. All right, we're going to get rid of one of these. That's four spots. That's worth something, it really is. And if I can get some uranium, I won't really need these. Okay, decision's been made. We're at five spots available now. So yeah, I'm gonna take a chance here. This is gonna be a big one. So what am I doing? Why am I running away, right? Go ahead, you can ask. Because I wanna get some distance between me and them. Let's see if I can shoot it from here. I can. I get hit by a laser right about now, I'm going to be in trouble. Really? Interesting. Oh, because I can only carry so many of those. Okay, we're done. So they're searching for me. I'm going to go ahead and use two, because I don't feel like messing with sodium right now. Ah, uh, they're never going to catch me over here now. It's too far away. And done. Good deal. So what did we end up with? It's worth a little bit. It's 
See, that's the thing, is I don't know if it was really worth all of that to get that. Yeah. Because these things are worth so much more. So, it was an interesting segue. I mean, we lost some stuff to do it, but let's go ahead and get rid of this at least. Because I would like to make something here. And probably the Aeronium too. Let's just do both. So what are we going to do? We're going to make a plate. We're going to build our... Let's see if we can't find a cave real quick, shall we? There we go. All right. To find a cave, we need to look for... Anything underground. Plants or anything else. That's interesting. There was a salvage canister right there. Okay, which way is north? This way? Alright, we'll go ahead and start heading this way. I want to find myself a cave to bury myself in here. And get an idea of what the heck is going on. We need more sodium. Ugh. That was a terrible jump. Yeah, big surprise there. Is this a cave? Yeah, actually it is. Okay, so we're going to go in here real quick. And what are we doing? We're at 21 minutes right now. Let's go ahead and make our refiner. And let's do a little bit of research. What does the Herox give us? It gives us silver. Hmm. Let me think here. Which the silver is, it's its not, I don't know if it's worth as much, to be honest with you. So the Herox is turning into be a little bit of a problem. Let's go with Aronium. That also gives us silver. Okay. And what about, finally, the Magna Gold? It gives us gold, of course. Gold's worth something. Let's go ahead and process that into gold. That's weird. Like it had to wait. So we can carry... How much gold can we carry on us? Oh, really? Was that much gold? Okay, how much gold did we get? 105,000 worth of gold. So one of these is worth more. It's really, it's at this point, it's not really worth it. So, you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to all this. This was a waste of money and waste of time, and I'm sorry I did it now. But... Lesson learned. Now we know. We'll stay away from those units. Put you over here, and it gives us four empty spots now. We can gather more of these things, which are worth 500000 apiece. Okay. Uh, let's get out of this thing. There we go. A little further. And we're out. Okay, looks like we got a place right in front of me, so let's go ahead and head that direction. We'll stay, we're gonna, we'll catch another salvage container along the way. It, why do you tell me, right as I'm approaching, that, hey, by the way, there's something hazardous in front of you, just as I step on it. I can get that to just pop up a little bit sooner. See, like, there's one right there. Let's just see. See, it's not even on my radar. Look at that. You're going to hit it every time. So I got to start recognizing these things as I'm running towards them. All right. And again, I'm not seeing any uh, ships flying over. Maybe I'm missing them or something like that, but I'm getting kind of worried. Ugh, really? Yeah, this is probably a little spot right here. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, it's a trading terminal, so we can't do anything with that anyway. Alright. Interesting. Is that... 
What is that? That is the weirdest feature I've seen on this landscape. Interesting. I'm going to head in that direction because I am curious. Uh, that unknown building is useless to me at this point. I don't see anything else worth my time except to the north. So let's head to that structure and just see what it is because it's just a hill. I get it. But still. Boy, I wish I could make some food and just domesticate one of you and ride you across the landscape. All right. It is just a very strange structure of, gr of ground. That's really, really weird. Okay. And looks like we have ourselves a little bit of buried technology here. And there's the machinery to go with it. All right. Just nanites that time. Okay. So this is north. Let's get up to the top of this uh, area here and just take a look around see where we are. Oh, good. We got a cave down there if we need to. And we're at the top. Well, well, well. A whole lot of nothing. Well, yeah. Boy, it's times like this I'm really depressed over my last run. Technology there, magnetized ferrite deposit. We are going to need some dioxide sooner or later. Okay. Well, let's head towards the buried technology. You know. It's a starting point. It looks like we just got a few more minutes left of this episode here. Whoop, that's not what I was trying to do. I'm trying to hit you. Okay. Magnetized ferrite and dioxide. So we're going to go ahead and hit that dioxide deposit and uh, see what we can do about replenishing that supply a little bit more. And I think we'll have to end the episode there. Now, I usually record these in two episode runs. I might do a little bit more tonight. We'll see what happens. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so sure enough, looks like dioxide to me. I think we just need about a hundred of it real quick, so let's go ahead and gather that up. Let's just make sure how much we got. 216. We need 84 more. There we go. Let's see where we are. 290. 10 more. And there we go. That's 300, right? We're done. Moving on. Now we're going back to the north. Stop at this damaged machinery on the way. Let's go just a little bit further. Looks like we've got a salvage scrap ahead of us. Good deal. Maybe we can get some hazard protection out of one of these and we'll at least make this episode a little bit more happy. No, not today. But we did get a lot of stuff and we learned some things, of course. Stop that. There we go. Uh, how's my inventory look? Looking kind of rich is what it's looking like. All right, we got a sodium patch ahead of us. And a more sa another salvage container in the distance. All right, so decision time. Do we keep going? I think we keep going. Let's go a little longer on this, and we'll hit that sodium patch real quick. No, don't grab that. I already got 300. There it is. So how much sodium do we have? 164? Okay. So we need... 134 to fill up my coffers.
133. I think that'll do it. Sure enough, 297. I was a little off on that. I don't know how that happened, but, you know, it's all right. Okay, and there is the salvage container, but let's look to the sides. We literally were walking right past a building. How did we do that? Probably because it was blending. It looks like a drop pod. Now, I don't have any word on drop pods, but you got to upgrade your um, exosuit somehow, and I probably really need to pay closer attention to his video and see if I missed him hitting drop pods at some point or another. So, you know, at some point what's going to happen is you're going to hit the center of the galaxy, which means you go to a new galaxy, and in that galaxy you're cool. So that is the end result of this whole run. Okay, so we need sodium nitrite, we need a... One of those. Need one of those. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. And we need the sodium nitrate. Need 10. Uh, sodium. Okay, so where do we put it? Like I said, we don't have many upgrades over here, so we're going to put it down here. already filled the one in the middle, so I'm going to continue on. I'd love to get this one, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and fill that in. So I can put that down there. Put you over to the side. Okay, so that gives us four more spots available. We need more ferrite, so we're going to start looking for that more. Okay. Why don't we call it an end right here to this episode? We started in a drop pod. We're ending in a drop pod. So let's go ahead and end this episode right here. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button if you like what you've been seeing. And uh, hit that subscribe button. We're going to be going ahead and continuing this series for quite a while. I have a funny feeling it's going to last a little bit. Uh, of course, I wish I could do five-hour live uh, streams on something like this. But I don't have that kind of time, uh, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and get this ended here. I'll pick you guys up in the next episode. Thank you again, and we'll see you then. Take care.